Hi there, I'm Lee. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'll be talking briefly about AMD's new release. So it is a driver release for uh, a problem that's been going on, which is a DAG file problem. So a lot of people with the uh, Polaris-based cards, so the RX uh, 470s, 570s, 580s, etc., they all had a problem with the DAG file. So when they're mining Ethereum, they would get progressively slower and slower uh, hash performance with each DAG file increase. So this driver fixes that problem. It's an official AMD release. So I'm just going to quickly cover uh, this release with you uh, and really to help you guys get up and running with it as soon as possible and get the best performance from your miners. So that is it for this uh, intro. Uh, let's continue on. So I first heard about this. Uh, someone posted a comment on one of the Facebook posts and here's a thread about it on Bitcoin Talk. So it says that uh, AMD released this driver to fix the DAG issue. Uh, you've got a link uh, to the drivers as well. Uh, I'll put that in the video description so you can go there directly. There was also this site which is uh, Legit Reviews. Um, I've not used them before, but what they did is a performance uh, kind of comparison between each one of the common uh, graphics cards, but also uh, on a case by case uh, driver uh, to driver comparison. So if we look at the top, um, I'm going to kind of exclude the Vega cards, uh, most of you guys, that won't be relevant for you, but if you scroll further down, you've got this uh, Sapphire RX 580 LE Nitro, uh, and you can see the performance there is uh, 24.8 and 24.8 for each one, either DAG 130 or DAG 199. So you can see with the old driver, by the time we got to DAG 199, which we're not entirely sure we'll get there in any case, but you can see the performance have dropped down to 15 mega hashes, uh, also, similar kind of um, performance on the RX 480. So you can see with the current driver uh, between the two DAG files, we're getting virtually the same performance, and again, a significantly decreased performance with the older drivers. So this is going to really help people. Uh, going back to that Bitcoin talk thread, um, I've scrolled through quite quite a lot. A lot of people have said that they've got in performance increases of um, a couple of mega hashes. So this will certainly help out a lot of people, particularly as you go forward and the DAG file uh, increases. So let's take a look at the Radeon software. So the version is uh, this Fire Pro Radeon N, N Radeon Pro, I thought there's an extra N in there, uh, 17Q. So what it says is that it's a beta level driver and it will not be uh, fully supported as with the other drivers. It also said that this driver is not intended for graphics or gaming workloads. So bear that in mind if you use your um, rig for, for gaming purposes, you might get weird uh, results. This driver is optimized for uh, blockchain computing workloads. And then it's got some extra information just really regarding the specific version. So it's uh, 17.30.1029. Um, and you can download the driver for uh, Windows 10 64 or 32 bit, uh, Windows 7 uh, 64 or 32 bits. Uh, one other person mentioned that they had some issues with 8.1, so use a little bit of caution if you have uh, Windows 8.1. The graphics cards that are covered are the Vega series, 400 series, 500 series, and also some older graphics cards. So I'm going to be testing this on the El Cheapo rig, which has the R7 370s. So you might see a little bit of improvement there. You've got some budget cards, and then you've got a lot of the R9 series cards, uh, and even also some of the older HD series. So it looks like it's going to get quite good coverage um, across a broad range of cards. So if you have one of these supported graphics cards, I recommend that you download this driver. Uh, you're certainly going to get some excellent um, or improved performance uh, from the driver, at least by a couple of mega hashes. Um, and like I said, the main thing it will help reduce is the performance degradation over time. Uh, which is going to be uh, continuing, so it's going to fix that problem for you. So that's it. It was really just a sort of a short video, just kind of release this, make all you guys that watch my videos um, aware of this solution. Um, so go take a look, check it out, and uh, let me know your uh, performance results, if they increase, decrease, if you had any problems. Let me know all that information in the comments, um, and I'll obviously relay that back to other people in the community. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys.